Elon Musk and SpaceX are trying to roll out Starlink Cellular worldwide, but European telecoms are trying to block them with a lawsuit. Meanwhile, Starlink and Apple are using satellite communications to keep North Carolina connected in the wake of the disaster from Hurricane Helene. So let's get into it. First off, Hurricane Helene has knocked out many cell phone towers and broadband coverage, so large areas of western North Carolina are entirely without internet access right now. According to Reuters, FEMA arranged with Elon Musk to deploy 40 Starlink satellite systems to help with responder communications in North Carolina. An additional 140 are being shipped to assist with communication infrastructure restoration. So all the cables are knocked out, put in satellite dishes, bounce the signal out to space, and back down to somewhere else where the infrastructure still works. That's good, right? And according to 9to5Mac, Apple's new satellite option available in iOS 18 also kept people connected during the hurricane. Lots of tweets from satisfied iPhone users who were able to use the satellite network. Dan Crow Dev tweeted, with Verizon service absolutely dead after the hurricane, the Apple satellite messaging service was extremely helpful to reach out and let family know we were safe. Such a helpful utility in times like this. According to Via Satellite, Apple is using Global Star satellites to power this feature. Once again, Space to the rescue seems to be the story of 2024. But Starlink has a new direct-to-cell service that they're rolling out, which will allow cell phones to connect directly to cell phone towers in space on the Starlink satellites with T-Mobile. But this isn't going to be a high-speed internet service like regular Starlink. It's actual LTE, same as a cell phone tower, but it is limited to 17 megabits per satellite beam according to PC Mag, Elon Musk tweeted about hitting that 17 megabits himself back in March when he had won the only device on the network. So everyone in what Elon Musk described as a very large area are sharing a very small amount of bandwidth. Now, before I get into why the mobile carriers in Europe and the US are attacking Starlink's direct to sell, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Thanks, Alex. I'm Brian from Speedify, and Speedify is an app for all platforms that's designed from the ground up to be the best mobile VPN. So it's secure, and it lets you combine all of your internet connections. Cellular, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, even the cellular connections of devices near you. It's available for phones, computers, and even routers. You can download it from our website, the App Store, or the Play Store. So download it today. Thanks, Brian. So, according to PC Mag, seven companies, including Vodafone, Orange, Telefonica, are joining in a lawsuit with Verizon AT&T claiming that the Starlink cellular would cause them interference. The reason they have this opportunity is because Starlink has gone back to the FCC and petitioned them to be able to transmit the LTE signal at slightly higher power from the satellites than they originally said they'd need. Based on their testing, it turns out they need just a little more signal than they said in order to get a real-time stream of data. To do a voice over IP call, they just need to go from that minus 120 dB watts per meter squared up to minus 110 dBm watts per meter squared. It, it's small amounts of power we're talking about here, but you know. With what they have now, they can do texting and stuff, but they're just too many drop packets. Just a little more signal would help. But the carriers are claiming this would interfere with their signal and should be blocked. My opinion? This is just the legacy carriers trying to use the government to muscle out a potential new competitor before they manage to get a foot in the market. But if there's one thing that we learned this week from Hurricane Helene is that we desperately need more communications channels and competitors and ways to deliver the signal. Sometimes the cables get flooded out. Sometimes the hurricanes knock down the towers and having additional options to bounce a signal off of space will literally save lives. And let's be honest, 17 megabits per second per cell is not actual competition to these people. They should calm down. It's just for emergencies. And emergencies do happen. People lost on mountaintops. When there's a blackout. When you're on a ship. When you're on a life raft because the ship sunk. Being able to make that one call, even with a very slow data rate and low definition video, will save your life. Getting the Starlink cellular service working is an important thing and I support it. If you liked this, 
check out our discussion video about SpaceX's launch streams because we get into the detail about how SpaceX actually uses lasers and redundant radio signals to stream the video from the launches of their rockets.